Hi, friends. I'm Emily Lay, and you're listening to The Simplified Podcast. If you're looking to simplify your life and organize your home, then you are in the right place. Every week, I invite you to explore practical ways to organize and automate the complicated parts of life so you can focus on what truly matters most. Guys, if you couldn't tell by this episode title, I am so ready for summer. I've already started to stock my Barrington tote bag with summer essentials, and do you know what is saving my life right now? Simplified pouches. We've got a couple different sizes that also happen to fit your planners and pencils and whatever else you need. I use them to organize all sorts of stuff. I've got one for snacks, one for sunscreen, and another one for the small stuff I don't want rolling around in the bottom of my purse. Seriously though, these pouches make my purses and totes so organized, I never have to go digging around in the bag to find what I need. So if you need some organization in your bags this summer, head on over to emilylay.com and get your simplified pouches today. What do you want to do this summer? Honestly, I can't hear that question without a warm, glowy feeling start to bubble up inside me because summer makes me so happy. It's filled with so many of my favorite things, long, lazy days filled with sun and lounging by the pool with a good book, going for a quick dip to cool off, and watching the stars with the kids, and maybe a s'more or two. Summer sort of shakes things up, doesn't it? It breaks up the everyday and invites something else into our lives, play. I think play is just as important when we're adults as it is when we're kids, because play gives us a lightness. We take ourselves less seriously. Our shoulders drop, our jaws unclench, we're more loose, more flexible. I love to play, and summer is the perfect time for it. And you know what helps play come into our lives a bit easier? When we set an intention to make it part of our lives. When we literally put it on our schedules or on a list. I see so many people do that with a thing that they call a summer bucket list. Have you seen these? A summer bucket list isn't about all the things you want to accomplish in a type A sort of way. They're more about things you want to experience this summer. They're filled with fun activities that you don't do very often, like making no-churn ice cream or road tripping to see a friend in another state or having a tournament with super soakers in the backyard. The things on your summer bucket list don't have to be big things, and they don't have to be productive things. It doesn't matter if you do everything on your list either. This is all about good vibes. It's about setting intention for the kind of summer you want to have, one that's a bit more loose and carefree and fun, a summer with a bit more play. Well, you know me, I love to hear how everyone else plans their days. So I gathered our Simplified Podcast co-hosts for a chat about all things summer. And you know what? It was so fun. I always get a ton of ideas from these girls, and they delivered here too. I can't wait to share this fun conversation with you. And if you're headed toward the finish line on the school year or a work project or some deadline you have coming up, take a moment to set that aside if you can. Set it aside and dream about the summer, about the kindness you can show yourself by putting some slack in the reins. Having something to look forward to helps when you're in the thick of it. At least it does for me. All right, you guys, enough of that. Here's my conversation with Team Simplified on our summer bucket list. Well, you guys, it is mid-May, which we like to call in the lay house may because it's as nuts as December I actually, like two years ago, I decided to mark off in my planner, like, I I wrote myself a note, do not plan anything this month. Don't commit. Don't say yes to anything other than the things that you actually are required to do. So smart. So smart. Yeah, because it's wild. So I just have a couple of questions that we're going to talk through, and I want to know what life is like in your house. Like, what are your kids doing? When does school let out? What kind of activities do you have going on from this point in the month until the end. Jessa, do you want to kick us off? Okay, so I am busy coping with the fact that I have a fourth grader now because school is going to let out, we're like third week of May. And that is just like very, I don't know, alarming. And now I have two kids in preschool. I'm gaining a child full time for summer, but two will remain in preschool for the summer so now part-time so we can like have our fun and everything else but essential to me working the two littles will be with their friends that's awesome yeah I'm so pumped 
that's going on. We're really busy with the end of school brings a lot of serving opportunities. We're really involved with church. So we kind of fully commit with like kids. Church is kind of a May month for us. So other than that, like we kind of don't do anything else. So, yeah. You have to. I feel like you have to set boundaries around this month. Otherwise, yeah. yeah. And like letting your yeses be yes, nos be no, you know. Mm -hmm. Liza. Totally. Lizzo, what about you? I feel kind of jerky rubbing this in, but our May is wide open over here. (laughs) (laughs) We have not yet reached the stage of parenthood where May becomes nuts. We have a three-month-old baby boy, and we are just still living in that newborn bubble. So I am probably getting less sleep than all three of you combined. So I guess, you know, that is the trade-off there. But no, we are, it is finally starting to warm up a little bit here in the Midwest. Very hit or miss, I think, as Laura can attest too some days are great some days are not but we are we are just trying to get in the swing of parent things and figuring out every day is different <laughs> he gets worry, bigger by the moment hi that's what i'm hoping <laughs> that nobody has this figured out because no i don't know if that makes me feel better or worse to tell you the truth i'm not sure but oh <laughs> i i told my almost teenager last night i said listen you this is the first time you've ever been a teenager and this is the first time i've ever been a parent to a teenager yeah, so yeah, we're figuring it yeah. out together we're figuring it out together the number of times yeah. i have said that to my child who does not understand any words i'm saying right <laughs> but we are figuring this out together bennett we are in it together so yeah that's our start of the summer is All of our days look very similar. He is finally with grandma for daycare. So I am, which is awesome and hard, all rolled up into one. Yeah, it's a both and. Yeah, very both and. So my days are, have a little bit more room in them than they did a couple weeks ago. So yeah, not very summery, but that's, that's, (laughs) we are not at that stage yet. So that's where we are. (laughs) That's the season. Laura, I feel like your life and my life kind of mirror each other because you have three that are school age. Yeah. Laura, yeah. So the other night I pulled out, like, this is our June podcast listeners. I'll take a photo of this and share it on story (laughs) so you can see this. But, like, there's no free day. Oh, Lord. No. No. But we love it. Like, I I remember as a kid, my mom would have that calendar on the fridge and it was like, if we want to hang out with friends, this is the only day that's open. Yeah. And I remember being like, this is insane. And she's like, just wait till you have your own kids. And now fast forward 20 years, 25 years, we're in that same season. Yeah. But it's kind of like you said, Jay, like this is the summer before our oldest goes off to middle school. And it's like this sweet, sweet time yeah. of I can't wait to spend this summer with you because you are about to just like fly and then yeah. also like preparing them to fly. It's it's like, it's very, very sweet. But we're busy. We have school up until the Friday before Memorial Day weekend. And that's the big day here at the lake. That's when the outdoor pool opens. That's when all the boats are yeah. out. So it's either like so the water is still 40 degrees <laughs> and it's a polar plunge. <laughs> yes. That or is- it's a beautiful weekend. So it'll it, it'll be a good kickoff to our summer for sure. That's awesome. I So Brady is going to be going into seventh grade. I cannot. That just does not seem real. No. And the little two are going to be going into third grade, which is just, I don't know. I feel like yesterday I was like you, Liz. Like I had itty bitty, itty bitty mm-hmm. ones at home. But our summer is, it's really busy. Summertime used to really stress me out because I still had a job that I had to do and I still... I didn't just want to like not have the summertime with my kids, you know, and send them to whatever. So like I decided what I would do is I would create like a summer bucket list, right? And so it would be like, no matter what, like sometimes they would go to camps and sometimes we would have someone come and watch them at home and sometimes whatever, but we would make a summer bucket list. And that was kind of our guide for the summer to make sure that when August came, because we go back to school in August, we kind of like checked the boxes and did the things and made the memories. But this summer, all three of my kids are going to camps. So I was not like a sleepaway camp kid growing up. I didn't do it, but I had a lot of friends who did. And when we moved home to Pensacola, a lot of our friends, their children did it. And so we decided to give it a try and our kids like fell in love with it. And so all three kids are going to camps in North Carolina for three weeks in June. And I will be solo with Brian 
without mm-hmm. them here. What are you even going to do? I don't know. Like, That's what does one so do? <laughs> I, I, I no, can't I, wait I, to I, hear what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. And then we go on our annual Lake Oconee trip around the 4th of July. And then Brian and I are going with some friends to Scotland and Ireland at the end of July. He's going on like a guy's golf trip. And for like five years, they've been planning this. And all the wives were like, okay, no, you're not going without us. So we're going to. And so that's exciting. Oh, fun. Yeah. But back to the whole summer bucket list thing. Do you guys do this? Do you do a summer bucket list? I love that idea. We don't formally do that, but I think we're going to have to start because I think there's part of me without kids that always feels feels like summer. First of all, it just flies. Those three months Mm -hmm. just fly. And I feel like every year at the end of the summer, I'm looking back like, what happened? What did we even do? What did we accomplish? It just like there's this, of course, bittersweetness to the end of summer. But it's almost this pressure and the stress of like, I didn't fill our summer enough. It went by and I didn't add enough to it. And so I love the idea of I mean, I'm all about a checklist, obviously, and, <laughs> and tactical things. And I love that idea. I love it. And being able to visually see, you know, yeah, here yeah. are all of the great things that we did and the memories we made. And I love that. What about you, Jessa? I've gotten in the habit of, like, having a summer bucket list and then an accompanying project list. And sometimes yeah. they cross-pollinate and projects become fun. But we live in a fixer-upper. Like, summers are times where, like, things are warmer. It's a good time to paint. Like, we, you know, all those things matter. So we like to do things around here during the summer. And then we really lean into love where you live. So just treating our surroundings as if we were tourists. What can we Mm -hmm. explore? What can we get into? It really is just a lot of us jumping from body of water to body of water. (laughs) Same here. <laughs> like Same. A, a beach, a pool, a spring, a lake. Like we're just pond puddle jumpers at this point. I love that. What about you, Laura? We do a family bucket list. Like the first day of summer, we'll put it on the fridge. And it's it, it's not even like big things. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's some oars at the fire pit or mm-hmm. we want to go mini golfing or we want to paint our nails and do fun nail art. Like it, it, mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be these big grand things. But this summer, I think I'm going to have the girls make their own and kind of like tack it up in their rooms and they can track their own bucket lists. Of course, we'll do a family one too, but I think they're old enough where they might be obsessed with that idea of doing it themselves. I think too, because they're like playing independently now, like that's kind of fun, you know? Yes. Yep. I, I always laugh too, like at the end of the school year, when school's over, we always go to Publix and buy the big giant box of the popsicles. You know, the ones I'm talking about, yep. like in the little, the little clear sleeves and we get a pair of scissors and we stock the fridge downstairs. And that just means like the pool is open, you know, everybody come over and swim. <laughs> Do you know that hack now that you can just snap them in half? You don't even need scissors. That. The freezy pops, like the what? ones. Yes, yes, yes. That. Yes, I don't believe yeah. this. Seriously, no, they do. Yes. They snap in half. Yeah. In the middle. You know that the worst like, to find scissors, and then the scissors get sticky, and yes. then like you want you go to use those scissors for something nice, and they're still sticky. <laughs> like, yes. Listen, yes. I I bought a pair of scissors just for the freezer. They live inside the freezer. Do you know like how much time I spend during the summer fishing those things out of the pool? Oh, oh I know. Yeah, I can <laughs> okay, only that and water balloons, which, you know, Ugh. our friend Taylor seems on this. Team Simplified. We, yeah. I bought those. I cannot wait because the other right. worst part of summer is picking up balloon remnants from, from your yard. And the yeah. Grass. So the reusable water balloons. <clears throat> reusable water balloons. We'll link these in the show notes because that's a must have. I remember as a kid, we would do water balloons and my dad, it would always get so mad because the lawnmower would like suck up the, <laughs> the yep. pieces God, and wreck yeah. the lawnmower. I have vivid memories of I my dad. I was just going to say, yeah. I totally <laughs> forgot about that, but you say that and I have such visceral. Triggered. Yes, I can hear it. Yeah. Triggered. yeah. Well, we Caroline it. Lay, when it comes to our summer bucket list, she is on a mission to get Brian to agree to buy a trampoline. And... I had a trampoline growing up. Like, it was fine. Nobody ever got hurt on it. It had all the safety things on it. But 
Brian is very like anti trampoline just because he thinks it's dangerous. And she, so she's been like begging, begging, begging for a trampoline. And she just a couple days ago got out a little notebook and she wrote out the list of the trampoline rules and presented it to Brian and said, these are all, I mean, and it's funny, like no glass, no like double back flips or anything, you know, like, I don't even know what that is, but so that could be on our summer bucket list. She's a smart girl. She is Mm -hmm. a very smart girl. She's a saleswoman is what she is. Yes, 100%. Yeah. I was was kind of proud of the list. It was pretty good. You guys know I love a ruthless declutter. That's true when it comes to our budget, too. And if you're looking for ways to trim your bills and add some cash back into your budget, you have got to try Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Guys, listen to me. You have to try Rocket Money's cancellation concierge because they saved me, I'm not kidding, $672 on our Verizon bill for the next year. I repeat, $672. All I had to do was log into my Rocket Money account, and Rocket Money said, hey, we think we can lower this bill for you. And I said, okay, please do that. A couple of days later, my concierge came back and said they saved me $672. And all I had to do was click a few buttons. Easiest money I've ever made, for real. So stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash simplified. That's rocketmoney.com slash simplified. Rocketmoney dot com slash simplified. Do you like cashews or gummy bears? Maybe you're more of a popcorn girl or you love dried fruit or even chocolate covered espresso beans. I'm a girl who loves a snack, which is why I keep my pantry and my purse and my diaper bag stocked with all kinds of snacks from nuts.com. Nuts.com is your one stop shop for freshly roasted nuts, dried fruit, sweets, pantry staples like specialty flowers, and even more. Their huge selection means there's something for everyone, whether you're looking for snacks that are gluten free organic or another way of eating. You guys do not walk, run and try their bourbon pecans. I cannot stop eating them and I don't even care. They are the perfect mix of sweet and salty and I want them to come with me everywhere I go for the rest of time. Right now, nuts.com is offering new customers a free gift with purchase and a free shipping on orders of $29 or more at nuts.com slash simplified. So go check out all of the delicious options at nuts.com slash simplified. You'll receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $29 or more. That's nuts.com backslash simplified. You know that feeling when you get home from a long day and immediately want to take off your bra. But with Honey Love, you will never experience that again. Their bras are so comfortable, you'll forget you're even wearing them. With Honey Love, you're about to find your next favorite bra. Their bestseller is called the Crossover Bra. And let me tell you, this is the bra I've wanted my whole life. You can adjust the straps so you can modify the fit however you need to. And on top of it all, it's so cute. And there's no underwires. I swear it doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything. And that is the best kind of bra to have. And lucky for us, Honey Love is more than just bras. They have incredible, comfortable tanks, sleepwear, and leggings for everyday support. So treat yourself to the best bras on the market. You can get 20% off your entire order with code SIMPLIFIED over at HoneyLove.com. One more time, get 20% off your whole order at HoneyLove.com, promo code SIMPLIFIED. Is there any food on your summer bucket list? Like, I want to know all about your summer menu or like your favorite things to serve for dinner or for lunches. My mom growing up, I have very vivid memories of us swimming and we would have friends over and my mom had these like clear plastic trays that had fish on them and she would go inside and make like hot dogs or grilled cheese and we would eat them with soggy fingers and it was like the best. That was our summer lunches, but what do you guys do? Not too different from that. Something I'm excited about this year, have you guys seen those tackle box snack? You can take them out to the pool. You can take them on the boat. You can take them to the ball game. You can, like, they have a lid that snaps. Cute. So that's going to be a big part of our summer. And summer for me, Midwest, like fresh food, salads. Yes. All, like, give me the biggest salad. Same. Go grill some meat. Yep. Bring the meat in, but the salad is the main, the main dish. Mm. I've been saving... I probably have like 20 summer salads saved. 
We're like thrills and grills. Like we are grilling it. We are eating all the fresh seasonal fruit, veggies, whatever we can get that's fresh, like pineapple, coconut, like all of that stuff is like the primary. Fresh pineapple, coconut. So great. Yeah, we are. (laughs) We are very much grill. My father-in-law has an awesome garden. He's got fresh tomatoes churning out all summer, which is so fun. So I'll go over once or twice a week <laughs> steal some tomatoes from his garden which is so fun we need to get better about grilling we us too we just don't use our grill as often i i love there's nothing more fun to me than having fresh food grilled just mm-hmm. the whole nine yards but we just don't use our grill like we should so that is on my summer bucket list this summer is to get better at grilling yeah love that. listen this has nothing to do with anything well i guess it actually does because grilling burgers is fun but i have a sam's club recommendation and i'm sure you can find this at like costco or whatever but the other day i went and bought they had grass-fed burger patties like the They're like already made into patties and they're frozen and the ingredients were grass-fed beef. That was it. And they weren't crazy expensive. And I think it comes with like 12 in a bag. And so we bought them and we had a bunch of kids over here. And so we grilled burgers. They were amazing. Game changer. Like I'm going to have them in our weekly rotation for in some way, shape or form. Yeah, Burger night is like steady over here. Yeah. But like frozen patties, that's the way to go. Especially like if you decide to go camping and stuff. Yeah. Like, a, like not not so much camping, but like a day away and they've got a grill there. That's the way to do it. Because by the time you're ready to grill, they're almost like thawed yep. anyway. Yeah. So easy. So quick. So good. So delicious. So delicious. My mouth is watering for a burger. <laughs> we freeze everything. So like, like yeah. any treat is cold in the summer, at least for us. Like we're just like popsicles, frozen drinks, yeah. frozen grapes. All the things like that. True Fru right now, we are on a huge True Fru kick. What's that? Oh, girl. <laughs> so good. And I've seen the okay. free. Have you seen the freeze-dried ones now, Jessa? Yes, have them, and like, I've had the not- mango. It's so good. What yeah. is it? So they're okay. like dipped, yeah. chocolate-dipped fruit. I get them at Costco <gasps> all the time. Chocolate at Costco. strawberries, yeah. And the ones I have are like... They first dip them in white chocolate and then dip them in dark oh chocolate. Oh, my and gosh. Frozen. And you, the key is you've got to let them sit at room temp for like five, ten minutes so they're not like super crunchy, crispy. They're just – oh, they're so good. They're so good. Listen, if I had to tell you my last meal here on earth, it would be nachos and chocolate-covered strawberries. Like mm. – are we talking like My ballpark favorite. nachos or like fancy nachos? I want the nacho cheese that comes in a can. In a little cup, yeah. yeah. It's so bright orange. <laughs> yeah, it's not natural. Taco Bell. <laughs> Jalapenos that have been canned for like four years. Yeah, and banana peppers. Oh my gosh. Yes. And then banana peppers on top of that, yeah. Okay, listen, here we are. This was all about summer and now we're just going to talk about food. So two things. Number one, at Aldi, <laughs> I just want Aldi to like sponsor my life because I love them so much. I love, and my kids love, the ice cream sandwiches. They're like $2.50 and you get 12. Yes. And they're so good. They're so good. We keep those in our freezer all the time. And then when Publix has Yasso bars, buy one, get one free, I will only buy them when they're BOGO because they're so expensive. But we stock up. And then the other thing I was going to tell you was I made chicken for nachos the other day. And it was just four chicken breasts in the crock pot with a can of Rotel. And then some salsa and a package of taco seasoning. Cook it all day long. Holy moly. It was so good. I do chicken breasts and salsa in the crock pot all the time, but I've never thought to add taco seasoning to that. That would be bomb. It was legit. It was so good. Add tahin. I cannot. (gasps) Tahin sponsor me just for my life. Like tahin is we. (laughs) Tahin. Tahin on watermelon. Okay, that is my that is my summer snack. That is I forgot watermelon with tahini on top. So Ooh. out of this world delicious. But also kids meals in the summer, this is hard. Okay, so I'm still packing two lunches. I don't know, are yeah. you guys packing lunches for camps? Do you guys have to do that? No. No. Not you. Not sleep away. Okay, so they provide it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was just going to say, Snackle Box is essentially the same thing as Bento Box. Like for Snackle Box. Is that what it's called? Okay. A Snackle. A That's snackle way box. cuter than Snack Tackle Box. So, and also, these Snackle Boxes, it's not a bunch of junk. Like, no. if I've learned anything about big kids, they have to have protein. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's where I was going with this. Okay. Yes. That, to, it just solves all hangriness, crankiness. 
get them some meat sticks, some cheese, some veggies and peanut butter. It's so much more fun in that format. I mean, exactly. just like the muffin tins. And oh, yeah. Whatever you throw in muffin tins. Yeah. It's just so smart. So Brady works out twice a week with this awesome guy at this gym for football. And he, when he gets in the car after school, he is like slumped over, like in a mood. He loves do- going to this workout. So that's fine. But I'm like, you need to get some energy. So I started packing like the little Tupperware thing with some cheese, some chopsticks, like a pickle, some yes. nuts, like whatever I can, so I can get some fat and some protein mm-hmm. in him so that he has some energy before he goes. Otherwise, he's like crashing that time of day. Also, those pickles from Aldi are so good that come in the bags. I was going to say this too. Yeah. They just came out with their atomic spicy pickles for summer. And if you like spicy pickles, they are supreme. They are so good. They come in pickled chips. Are they the O-Snap kind? No, they're all these brands of pickles. Okay. And they're just called Atomic Spicy. Oh, my gosh. So good on a chicken sandwich. Hey. You heard it here. Noted. Also, for your kids, like, if you're wanting to, like, treat them, but, like, trick them into not being jerks and want them to be, like, very happy, apple nachos, slicing your apples really thin, okay? That for me. Yeah. Okay. So you're going (laughs) to slice your apples super thin. I was going to say, that makes me a very happy kid. Yes, absolutely. (laughs) So you're going to slice your apple super thin. You're going to pop your peanut butter in the microwave for 30 seconds. Drizzle (gasps) the peanut butter all over the nachos, mini chocolate chips, right on on top. And they think that you are the coolest mom in the whole world. I also have been known to sprinkle granola on top. Okay, like Liz, I feel like this would be up your alley. Okay, so like if we didn't do peanut butter, but we Mm -hmm. still wanted like high fat like you could do like a goat cheese situation oh, absolutely with a balsamic with a balsamic on the apple yeah okay I'm hungry yeah same so last question you guys and we do have a rapid fire but before we get there what is your number one item at the top of your summer bucket list and why jessa we want to get lucy super comfortable with swimming on her own Ooh, good so this is the number one on ours and then we want to get cal at least to where he knows what to do if he were to fall in. Like, these are our biggest priorities this summer. I know that's not very fun, but, like, it's a huge, huge priority with how much water we're around. So, yeah. It is life-changing when they know what to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's great. I like that. Okay, Liz. I feel like everything we do this summer is a bucket list thing. It's all of our firsts. (laughs) We've got our two family trips. It's our first time, obviously, bringing Bennett to both, and that will be so, so fun. His first time swimming, his first time in the water, his first time, all the firsts. So I think we're just excited to soak it all up and make the memories and try as hard as I can to make the summer one that I'm really living in the present. Like I'm... I am where my feet are and yeah. not looking ahead or back or thinking that we're going too fast or I just want to be where my feet are. So that's that's our bucket list this summer. Oh, I love I it. I love that. What about you, Laura? So we are, after a year off, we're getting back to the beach this summer to our, like our favorite Yay. spot. Yay. I know we love it so much. But this time we are not flying. We are driving. Oh, that's so fun. Yes. So because I think our kids are old enough that road trips can be a success. Yeah. And like, I just have vivid, vivid memories of holding an atlas and like tracking where we were going on a road trip. Like, we probably won't do that, but (laughs) they're old enough to be like Apple Maps. Yes. Yes. To see a little bit of our country that you just would not be able to see if you were in a plane. So we're excited. I love it. That's That's, that's a good segue into ours. So last summer, we did a screen free summer, which. Remember that. I was, Brian was like, this is not going to work. I'm going to be miserable. <laughs> like, this is awful. And the kids did it. And it was like surprisingly easy. There were moments. And but they thrived. Right? They thrived. They totally thrived. And we had some big road trips in there. We drove to Lake Oconee and we listened to podcasts together in the car. Like, it was really, really good. And it really opened my eyes to what they miss when their face is stuck in a screen. And me, you know? Ugh. So we're going to do that for part of the summer again. And then we're also going to do, and I think we're going to do a podcast episode about this, but how to be a person camp again. Because now we're going to have a it's back. a mid-middle schooler and third graders. Like, they're 
they're getting big, you know, and I, I just think it's so fun to teach them how to be, how to be eventual grownups. So there's that. And then obviously Ireland, I'm, I cannot wait. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to see your photos. And it's just me and Brian, which we love to travel and we love traveling with our kids. So we just bring them like if we go places, yeah. they always just come too. So this is going to be a first in a long while since it's just been us. So it'll be fun. I think you'll love it. I do too. Okay. Two rapid fire questions for each person. So I'm just going to go down the list and you just tell us your answer. So Jessa, your favorite summer activity? Going to the beach or the springs, eating lunch that's either been sitting in a cooler like all day or stopping at like our favorite burrito place Mm -hmm. and then jumping in a pool once you're back around home instead of showering. The best. Yeah. Best kind of shower. Yep. Lizzo, what's yours? Coffee outside in the morning. Mm. and naps on the couch with damp hair and your swimsuit still on. That was so, like, mine right there. Like, that yeah. feeling when you're kind of tired, but you're sunbaked. Like, butter, you know, you're, yeah. it's, you've had a good day outside. You've got a light blanket on, so it's, you know, it's not too much. That's uh, that's where I want to be. Laura, what's yeah. yours? So, we live on a lake, so it's got to be, like, weekend boat days. We've packed a cooler or two for the entire day. We are just getting drenched in the sunshine, tying up to our friends' boats. It's just like the best days. Coming back, showering, and at the fire pit. That's so fun. I love that. Mine is pool days, like just hanging out outside, being in the water, like random kids coming over. I just, it's my favorite. Okay, Jessa, your sweetest summer memory. Okay, when I was like Leland's age, my dad drove us. He was like, you need to pack two outfits, all your swimsuits, and meet me at the car. Now, my mom was like actually packing for us. We met at the car. This was at night. Like it was past my bedtime. And me and my brother got into our van. And my dad drove us and my mom to the Keys over like overnight. And we woke up at at Bahia Honda. And like it was like... The cheapest vacation. He had been saving like all of his like spare change quarters. And like we literally did vacation for like three days on quarters. And it was the coolest (laughs) ever. Like a cheap motel, just snorkeling the whole time. It was probably one of my greatest. Yeah. I love that. Liz, what about you? I have another dad memory. So we have a cabin in northern Wisconsin. It's been in my dad's family for years and years. And we spend weeks there in the summer, sometimes months. And there was one morning my dad woke me up. It was probably like 4.30 or 5 in the morning. And the sunrise was going to be so great that day. And so he and I, just the two of us, got on the boat. And we just putzed out to the middle of the lake, watched the sun come up. And then the two of us went to breakfast in town. We boated over and docked up and had breakfast in town. And it was so rare that the two of us got to ever do anything just together, just the two of us. And I, it was my favorite morning, probably still to this day, summer, not, and it doesn't matter. (laughs) What about you, Laura? Searching for seashells with like the women in my family, like growing up is just some of my favorite summer things. And now that I get to do it with like three girls, it's just bizarre. Like that was waking up before (laughs) everyone else. And me and my mom would go out, watch the sunrise over the beach and just like have a giant tumbler full of shells. And then we'd come home, we'd lay them all out, we'd wash them all. And now that we get to do it with this next generation, it's super, super fun, super special. Mine's a dad memory too. My dad would wake me up really early, like 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And we would go to Waffle House and we would eat breakfast together and then we would go fishing. And I have one really specific memory of we had gummy worms and we we went fishing with gummy worms instead of like the actual worm things you put on there. Or maybe it was gummy bears. It was a gummy worm or it was a gummy something. And we went fishing with that, and it was just the sweetest, like, most fun, crazy earth. Like, we would be finished and back by, like, 8 a.m., but Mm -hmm. it was such a sweet, kind of like you said, Liz, like, I had a a little brother, and he and my dad fished a lot, but for me to have that time with him was super special. Did it work? Did the gummy bears work as bait? To To my knowledge, I caught a ginormous fish. I love that. But I think that might be one of those fishing stories that people make up, so I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all, this was so fun. I love so these. So fun. Sweet, I'm so excited for summer now. 
I know. I'm so excited, too. Well, till next time, Pod Squad. Loved having you on. So fun. Thanks so much. Love you. See ya. Bye. Well, that was so much fun. We talked all about summer bucket lists and got totally derailed by talking about all kinds of summer food, which is one of my favorite things to talk about. But I just love those girls, and I love hearing about how they are living out their summers in the best way possible in all the different seasons that they're in. As we close out this episode, I'd like to say a little blessing over you as we leave this time together and get back to our days. As you gather with your people this summer, may you also gather joy and abundance. I hope your days are filled with warmth and love and play, and that your nights are filled with wonder and fireflies. Most of all, as you enjoy this summer, I hope your spirit feels wild and free. As always, I like to leave a little tip to help you put what we've talked about today into practice. So here is your task for this week. Do you want more fun in your summer? Then take five minutes when this is done and think about three things you'd like to put on your own summer bucket list. Just five minutes, that's it. Think about something that's out of the ordinary that you'd like to do. Maybe you'd like to go somewhere new. Maybe you'd like to find a Groupon for a museum day or find a recipe for homemade popsicles you can make with the kids. Maybe you want to volunteer at the community garden a couple times, or maybe you want to try out that walking trail that's near your house. Remember, you don't have to accomplish these things like a to-do list. We're just setting the intention to create more fun and ease in your life these next few months. Thank you for listening to the Simplified Podcast. You can find show notes for this episode at emilylay.com slash podcast, where you can check out links and resources mentioned here. And you can shop the simplified brand of planners and products. You can follow me on Instagram at Emily Lay and our brand at Simplified. And now you can also follow my writing at emilylay.substack.com. And hey, if you want these kinds of great conversations in your life every week, then you should go follow our show. It'll show up right in your phone. Talk about automated. So till next time, thanks for listening. Bye.